and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexander and I'm a guitarist, composer and overall music nerd from Copenhagen, Denmark. And today we are going to take a look at how to achieve a metal guitar tone in 2020 for free. In this video we're going to go over and compare six different amp sims that you can get for absolutely free. I've put all the details for that down in the description so you can go pick up every plugin that I use and every amp sim that I use for this example. So the amp sims that we're going to take a look at is the STL Tones Emissary, the Amped Roots, the Amped Arc, the Narlex Ninja and the Amped Super and Duper and also the Narlex Crunchman. After this short little introduction, I'm going to walk you through the project so you can see how I've set up the guitar buses and which plugins I use and sort of the general settings. First of all, a little disclaimer, I'm not paid or sponsored in any way, shape or form by any of these companies. I simply want to make an informative video on how to get a great sounding tone with minimal effort. So the way that I have structured this test or this comparison is that I have used presets within the plugins themselves or if there are no presets in the plugins, I have just left it at flat 12 o'clock settings. Also, every plugin uses its own stock IR, and for the M-Sims that doesn't have an IR loader in the plugin themselves, I use the free NAT IR plugin, as well as the free ML Soundlabs best IR in the world. So remember, before you start throwing dong at any of these plugins, none of them is EQ'd or compressed in a specific way that tailors to that tone. They all have the exact same plugins with the exact same settings just to clear up the worst dirt. So if you like the sound of some of these plugins in this comparison, just remember with a few easy moves, you can make it sound a lot better. All right, without further ado, let's take a look at the project. I wanted to quickly take you through the project so you can see how I have set it up uh, and again go over the different uh, rules that I set up for myself and the, uh, the bus chain and stuff like that. So there's no confusion there and I'm not uh, hiding anything or I don't know why I would be doing that. Uh, okay, so let's just uh, take offset in uh, this. This is the, the first example, the rhythm uh, left and right, hard pan right with the emissary. And as you can see, I'm using the emissary plugin and I just chose the lead chuck presets. And this is general for all of the examples, uh, all of the colored uh, tracks here that I used a preset within the plugin itself and all I touched was the volume if it was uh, significantly lower in volume than the rest uh, and if there were no plugins like in the ninja I just uh, ran it flat. So the next thing I did is put in this uh, net IR plugin which is also free and I used the free <laughs> IR called the ML Soundlabs best IR in the world uh, and I used these only on the plugins that didn't have a cabinet within the plugin itself. So for example, with the amped roots, there is a cabinet that is engaged. So it's using the cabinet from that plugin. But for the Ninja, I'm using the NetIR and for the Crunchman, I'm using the NetIR, right? Okay, so this is the rhythm tracks, as I said, left and right, hard panned, exact same uh, settings for both. And uh, same for the cleans, uh, here I'm swapping, so it uh, didn't have to make a million new tracks. So uh, in the in the emissary, it's the emissary uh, with a different uh, preset, right? And this is the clean bright, and um, it changes throughout. And I'll put this on the screen. And for the lead guitars, it's the same principle as the clean runs, right? So in the beginning, the chugging part, we have a sort of ambient, a little more sort of a lo-fi-ish sound I was going for, and um, it's the same. It's just uh, one track uh, down the middle, and for the emissary, for example, I'm using again that IR in the emissary, and here I'm using the fat lead preset, for example, right? And this is more the in the uh, where the the rhythm guitars are playing chords, or more of more of a sort of high dynamic part. It's more of a regular uh, lead, right? A soaring kind of uh, solo guitar tone, right? And here I'm using the lead modern, for example. So for the drums and the bass, uh, this is not super significant for the metal guitar tone, uh, but it does uh, uh, have or play its part in the mix, of course. And here I'm not using any free plugins. I'm using the Helix Native just because it's it's super easy. And for the drums, I'm using Get Good Drums, and I have a JST uh, compressor on there as well. And then there are some waves, uh, synthesizer stuff going on. Okay, so for the guitar buses, in I have a rhythm guitar bus where we have the rear gate. It's free and it does what it should. A good, good gate. I actually use it quite a lot. 
And then I have the TDR Nova, which is also free. And here, like I wanted to run flat settings or use only presets. Again, this is a very uh, sort of uh, just a, a quick cleanup uh, for all the guitars. There's nothing in this uh, chain that is suited to the specific tone. So again, before you start throwing shit at some of these plugins or, or really uh, make up your own opinion, just keep in mind that there's a lot of work to be done for the specific tones. This is sort of a general cleanup, just a high and a low pass, right, to uh, to get, re get rid of the really nasty stuff. But you could, of course, make any of these sound really good. And there are many, many brilliant examples out there on YouTube with people making these specific plugins sound good. But I just wanted to sort of showcase what options you have and how good a result you can get by doing the minimal amount of work, right? Okay, uh, and the last part of the guitar chain, again, the uh, G Multi, which is a multi-band compressor. And all I'm doing here, I'm not touching band 3, 2, but only band 1. And all I'm doing here, as you can see the settings, I'm compressing the low end a little bit. And that's to uh, help specifically the beginning part with the, the heavy chucks, even though this is uh, only recorded DI in drop D. Uh, there's still a lot of sort of... Uh, uh, boominess uh, that comes from that specific part so i just wanted to clean that up equally for all of the guitars okay and then we have um a, a bus for the lead guitars as well right and all is here is the cubase stock uh, <laughs> reverb uh, and i used the plate bright and i didn't touch maybe i touched the mix a little bit but that's all and then we have the ping pong delay also stuck for cubase or steinberger whatever stereo delay for solo right so it was playing a solo and I thought that would be a good preset and it sounded all right. And again, we have the TDR Nova doing uh, a little bit different of a cut, but the same sort of principle, right? Um, so instead we are cutting at, uh, at uh, 130 hertz around there, right? Uh, to get rid of even more low end because it's the solo part. So we want to get all of that stuff out there. And uh, 14K was sounded good in sort of general terms when I just listened across all of them. It didn't sort of handicap any uh, any of the specific tones a lot. Okay, and uh, then for the clean guitars, there's a little bus as well. Again, the TDR Nova doing the same thing as the rhythm guitars. We have the multi, and here I am uh, using a bit on the second band here to just uh, sort of uh, tighten it all together. Uh, but that is all I did, a little bit of... Um, compression here in the uh, in the second band in the around the mids and then again we have the the Steinberg stock uh, reverb plugin played brass and again a ping pong delay stereo delay for solo so as you can see fairly simple setup uh, really few plugins and uh, a sort of a general cleanup is really all I did so let's just dive into the audio examples and see what all of these different amp sims sounds like
Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I really enjoyed making it. Let me know down in the comments if you would like more sort of music production stuff or you want me to dive deeper into one of these free amp sims and show you my approach to coming up with a metal tone using that. So as always, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, throw a comment down below, or share it with a friend who would also find this useful. So that is all for this time. Until next time, guys. See ya.